everybody. How are you guys today? So I've got my rain jacket on because I heard there's supposed to be a big storm today. And I heard that you guys are supposed to be the storm. Do you guys want to play a game? Okay, great. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this signal. Okay. And when I do that, you guys are going to make a bunch of noise. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Did you guys make noise? Perfect. When I do this, you stop immediately with your noise, okay? All right, so let's try it a few times and let's see how you guys do. And you guys are gonna be my rainstorm. Ready? Good job, one more time. Nice, good job, guys. So wouldn't it be cool if we could really do that do that with something in our lives, or we could just hold up a hand signal and say stop, and it would stop. Well, I'm going to tell you a little story today about when Jesus was able to do that, and it was actually during a storm. So if you guys want to open your Bibles with me, we're going to read from Mark chapter 4, verse 35, and it says, that day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up. In case you don't know, a squall just means a really big storm. And the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion, sleeping in the middle of the ocean. Can you believe that? The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care? We're about to drown. He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Wasn't that a pretty cool story? Isn't it amazing that Jesus can just say, be still, and a storm stops like that? Um, but it also teaches us a really important lesson that Jesus cares and that we just have to let him be the peace in our life. We're going to do a little experiment. So I've got a cup here full of some vinegar. And we're going to pretend like these are some worries that you might have. And these are what happen when we don't find that peace. You guys see all that bubbling? It brews a big storm, right? But what happens if we let Jesus take control of those things? Oh, I missed just a little bit. Let's watch for just a second and see. So if the oil is our representation of Jesus, you guys can already see he's calming that storm and he's calming all of those bubbles and all those worries and all those fears. So if Jesus can control the weather with a single command, we can be confident that he has the power over all of our fears and we can ask him for help, hope and guidance. And in rough times, remember, he's in that boat with us. We can trust in him for strength, and he will calm any storm in our life. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.